Hey, it's Rickard. In this video, we're going to look at another vintage Lego train set. This train set is from 1976. It is from the blue 12 volt track era. That's the blue track with the 12 volt center rail to power the motor added. And it is set 726, the western train. Also has cowboys and horses, but it's a really unusual looking train. It's supposed to be old timey train, you know, from the days of cowboys and steam locomotives and, and things like that. But it's actually kind of funny in some ways. It does, it is, I should say, supposed to have stickers. I do not have the stickers, but I do have all the other pieces. And it does run. And that's what we're going to look at. Oops. Now we'll look at the locomotive. It is a steam locomotive. It has a lantern. That's what this yellow window, that's supposed to be the lantern. Uh, how they would have a light. It's got the smokestack. It's got the boiler. It's got other little lights here. Yes, they did have lights, but they usually would be like lanterns. It has the magnetic couplers. It has these little pieces here to hold the um, drive shaft thing. Let's see if I can make it go. See how it pumps like a real steam locomotive it goes up and down. It has this special connector over here, and um, to connect it to the wheel. It's a pretty hard piece to find, this little red piece here, and also this little black piece here on the front. And it's got yellow windows, which are also... You know, th this is not a, a rare yellow window, but the little one by one and one by 2 yellow windows are. It gets stuck sometimes. Needs a little more weight on the engine. It's got these buffers on here, a little step. And then next car is the passenger car. I think it's supposed to be like some kind of bank car or something. It's like the cowboys are guarding it. You got a cowboy on either end. So we can come down where you can see those cowboys. They're just sitting there guarding it. And I'll show you the cowboy because the three minifigures are all identical in the set. So if I show you one, you've seen them all. So you got the other cowboy in the back there. They're guarding the place and then here is the last car which is kind of like a cattle car and it's got this cowboy on his horse and it's a real simple build for that as I mean, you can see it's just not many pieces to it the base for all these cars they're just all uh, one base you have the small base and then the passenger car was the big base it's a little longer so let's look at the cowboy now I'm loving train month because I love trains, but to me this is the part of the set that was most unusual and most interesting to me uh, just because of the way they built this horse. They used these minifigure legs, and I say minifigure, it's the pre-minifigure minifigure, minifigure you know, they don't have movable legs, so yes those are legs, but they used them on the horse for his legs and also for his head. <laughs> and then the cowboy if you want to make them a cowboy, you can just put them on like that. I'm wondering if the yellow piece is supposed to be for his belt. I don't know. But that is... He's a little crooked. See, he has no face. You never know which way he's looking. <laughs> but in that, it's just an odd-looking horse. Now, the, the ears of the horse are these this one-by-two plate that's wedged in between the studs. And then the tail... It's also neat how they did that. They just took a 1 by 2 plate and wedged it between the tube and the edge of the plate on the back of the, the horse. So this is before Lego had actually even made the minifigure horse. That didn't come out till the early 80s, like 1984, I think. Might have been when we got the first horse. So this is 1976. You had to build your own horse. But it's kind of an odd-looking build. Now with this set, you would have got a circle of track, not an oval. I set this up as an oval. And the center rail is what powers it. You got your two conductors. And what they do is on the bottom of the train motor. This is actually a regular train motor with these added. And what these do is they these little bricks here, they send power. They pick it up off the rail with these and then they send it up into the locomotive. 
So that's how that works. And you got to use a 12 volt motor, this, uh, which will have a little yellow uh, label on it that says 12. And the four volts, four and a half volts, say four. <laughs> so you got to know which one you're using, or else you'll burn up the motor. But the so it came with a circle track. I got an oval set up. I did not have a blue power rail, so I used one from the 1980s 12 volt era, which is gray. And then I got it hooked up to an old um, motor, I mean, um, transformer to make it go. So let's do that. Uh oh. Sometimes I got to make sure it's on the track good. There we go. It does not have the best. Needs some sand. I need to fix the problem was I didn't have this piece wedged all the way down so when the train would hit it would it would get stuck. So now it should go. No. Oh no. He left the rest of the train. There we go. So that's set 726, the Western Train, with two cowboys and a horse. <laughs> so what, tell me what you think about this set. Uh, I kind of like it. Uh, it is kind of unusual co colors, but they use those same colors in the Thatcher Perkins, which I've already reviewed. That's set 396, if you want to look that up. But um, hey, this was, this was the early day of Lego trains, and it's what we had back then in 1976. So what do you think? I love it. Whoa! Look at it go! Look at those light speed. I'm not even full throttle. That's full throttle. See if we can derail this thing. Yep.